16. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. UBS Forums, the leading provider of content-driven and information-rich business conferences that provides unlimited opportunities for individual learning and commercial deal-making, organized its fourth edition of CISO Conclave and Awards 2022. The Conclave brought together CIOs, CISOs and industry experts on a single platform to discuss information security, cloud security and application security. The event redefined cybersecurity to help enterprises thrive in this digital era. The CISOs and security experts discussed the latest opportunities, challenges, and trends in the enterprise cybersecurity space. The event kicked off with the opening remarks of Vishwanath Ramaswamy, the Vice President, Technology Business at IBM India and South Asia. Why security challenge becomes very, very uh, pervasive and it's not a static motion, but as and when you accelerate on this highway of digital transformation, the, the kind of speed at which you have to address the security challenge becomes of immense importance, very, very critical. So the surface area of exposure is multifold. One is uh, in terms of exposure, in terms of having hybrid cloud, multiple public clouds and on-prem. So that, that brings in one level of exposure. The second is, the explosion of data itself, where today every person in almost every organization is almost generating about 53 terabytes of data per person per year. And the third exposure uh, coming out of the pandemic is primarily in terms of remote workforce. And that even exposes the amount of devices going out uh, externally as well. And last but not the least, with the number of edge devices which are coming up, which is going about 2x or 3x, probably even more, in the future, in the next couple of years, is also exposing the whole gamut of security. So it becomes a very great challenge to really forefront, at the forefront. And to that effect, it is very imperative that organizations uh, partner with technology companies who can really offer solutions which are more intelligent, uh, bring in, infuse AI into their security operations, and also look at how they can build in technologies to catered to the most sophisticated cyber attacks which are coming up in place. The first presentation had Rajesh Thapa, CISO, Access Bank, sharing his views on next-gen CISO. For a CISO, if you really take a hat of a business enabler, you will try to compromise on what your core role is. So that is where it becomes very difficult and, and, and sometimes you have to be a smart enough CISO to balance both sides. The, the protect and monitor is now Plus, why I say this is still required, but you have to think of resilience. Which was followed by Iftikhar Hussain of Microsoft India, where he addressed the audience on proactive threat hunting. The, the automation comes from like what you should really hunt on, because the, 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 the opportunity is endless. Because you still need to invest a human's time to do hunting. The automation comes from it you know, bringing the positive leads which are worth investigable. So, Automation and artificial intelligence are being used to basically find out those leads where the possibility of uh, finding anomalies is higher. Terence Gomez, Country Head, Security Microsoft India, shared his insights on the changing threat landscape and how to look at security holistically. The digital expansion that has happened has led to significant explosion in the attack surface. And as customers are evolving, so is the so are the threat actors evolving out there. Uh, we spoke a lot about how to focus on being more proactive, how to focus on looking at security by design, and also how to look at security holistically. Because attackers don't attack a specific uh, technology, they don't attack endpoints, they don't attack identities, they attack organizations. So we believe that security should be holistic and, not should, and should not be at just a point in time approach. Innovation is key uh, to keep our defenders uh, you know, ahead and top. Pradeep Vasudevan of IBM Security from India South Asia shared his insights on putting security everywhere with external attack surface management and XDR. You know, at a external attack surface management becomes so critical 
that we know what is our organization know how it looks like but do we know what outsiders see this right as an attacker what are the areas of interest for them right which are the areas that they think right can be exploited do we have that visibility Vishal Salvi of Infosys discussed the next wave of leadership in information technology. So when you talk about leadership and you talk about leadership qualities, we talk about, you know, from a cyber security perspective, what are the important traits that CISO should look at, right? And the first thing that comes to my mind is accountability. How do you take ownership and accountability of your position? The short summary of uh, my session was about uh, the leadership and the new wave of leadership in information security and I am talking it in the context of four areas of strategy which is about user experience and seamless uh, using of uh, technology uh, while achieving control. Second is about uh, constant improvement uh, and building controls. Third is about cyber resiliency and fourth is about building cyber security culture. and within that context we are talking about in terms of how uh, you know post the pandemic we have to ensure that all the changes that we have done uh, for working from home and working from anywhere are irreversible and so we need to make sure that we are able to adopt it to the hybrid world of working without trying to go back to the old tech, old architecture whereas dr mangesh amale of velox solutions talked about omni channel cyber security for the future when i say omni channel means you do not to go and tap multiple vendors all these product can be integrated in one single dashboard in one single database and these products will form a single dashboard as well as report and even a mis and decision support system our solution can be integrated to multiple cyber security solutions which you guys are already using simranjit ahuja of netwitness discuss the magic of xdr visibility to detect threat network endpoint and logs and then you augment it with your threat intel why threat intel because your threats are evolving as your business is evolving your threat vector your attackers are also evolving so you need to know what are the threat which are already there in the market dilip panjwani the principal director chief information security officer and it controller larson and tubro infotech moderated a panel with arju sebastian country leader ibm security services india south asia sharad chada dekar head cyber security and data protection for icici prudential life insurance Terence Gomez, Country Head, Security, Microsoft India. Manoj Nayak, VP and Chief Information Security Officer, SBI Life Insurance Company Limited. Kuldeep Pal, CISO, Bank of India. Aditya Agarwal, Country Head, India and Sark, Netwitness. Discuss the importance of streaming security model of organization in the post-pandemic era. Rajesh Chhabra. the sales director of south asia and global business development leader inside sales of actronis gave an enlightening presentation on 2022 it outlook of ransomware vulnerabilities and other cyber attacks cyber threats uh, are synonymous with ransomware so if we talk about ransomware uh, now it's not only about it's it's initially ransomware used to be encrypt encrypting and taking money but it's not only about you know encrypting it's also it has evolved to the next step next stage which is about double extortion even some cases triple extortion followed by varun singla of airtel who emphasized on the importance of zero trust architecture tools certainly have a very important role to play as we go along the zero trust journey but it's about people and process too right if you if you don't have the right people who can build all these uh, capabilities who can manage them it's going to be very difficult and if you have the if you don't have the right processes that's not going to work either radhesh walwadkar a fortinet decoded the cyber security mesh when when a survey was done people are saying that the only way to prevent today's day malware infection or attack against multiple threat gateways they need to follow something called as a 
साइबर सिक्योरिटी मेश आर्किटेक्चर वायल हृदयजीत सिंह इलिसिटेटेड ऑन द डेटा सेंट्रिक अप्रोच टू जीरो ट्रस्ट data which is our core asset of the organization is is traveling through boundaries whether we are product company or a service company if we need to if we need to innovate if we need to grow at the scale we want to uh, we can't build every expertise in house which means that some of our intellectual property critical data assets will be shared or collaborated internally and with our external providers which essentially means that uh, the so called perimeter centric or device centric or user centric uh, things that we build around uh, as form of a security around uh, the enterprise is no longer holding true ramadevi sangu ciso of vedanta resources limited moderated a panel comprising industry leaders including basil dange ciso aditya birla sun life amc limited ashish shah ciso star union Daichi Life Insurance Muhammad Imran Group Head Information Security L&T Financial Services Rajesh Chhabra and Global Business Development Leader Inside Sales Acronis Dr Mangesh Amale Managing Director Velox Solutions Private Limited deliberated upon safeguarding measures for data security in organizations and the latest technology used by CISOs Rajesh Dalal from Make My Trip shared his insights on the history of cyber threats and its evolution. Encrypt your data. That's most important. Encrypt your data and tokenize your sensitive information. Then log everything within your application and all the segments, right starting from the edge till the request reaches the application. Log it to a central place which could be a scene. Coming up after the break industry experts and cisos being felicitated in various categories of the 4th edition of cisos conclave and awards 2022